But this is no ordinary weight loss challenge. This is an extraordinary journey to greatness. Over the next eight weeks, I will teach you how to choose confidence over shame, strength over weakness, and courage over desperation. But in order for me to be successful, I need your help. I have six contestants on this show who have dedicated themselves to doing whatever it takes to finally get in shape. They've never done anything like this before, and they're gonna need your support. People following me from all over the world, which is amazing because I am their international fitness coach. There's people from the United States, from Canada, from Mexico, from Germany. Poland has a very strong following. Um, but when I recently moved back to LA, I wanted to do this challenge and I needed the people to be local. So I did an outreach for people that lived in Los Angeles um, who could commit their time, their efforts, and their energy to eight weeks of intensive training with me. Two times, let's go, hit it, one, two. Pull it, pop, pop, pop. Like a pendulum, swing it forward and back, there you go. Squat, keep going, keep going. Exhale forward. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to the fittest winner. Okay, so this is day one. We have all of our beautiful contestants, and I just wanted to give you guys a little backstory on how the fittest winner was born. One day I was in a major store, and what I noticed was that there was a very, very large percentage of people that were overweight. And one of my favorite things to do is to bring out beauty in people. And they couldn't really be everything that they meant to be because their weight was holding them back. I could see it. I could see it. I have a very feisty family member. And um, she was like, well, <laughs> why don't you do something about it? So I just started, all of them, I mean, the ideas, they just started coming. And I think that when something comes to you that powerfully, you need to act on it. When some kind of an image hits your mind or an idea hits your spirit, it's for a reason. So it was ruminating and ruminating and ruminating and finally I decided, well, maybe I can do something about it. So I did. This is the first episode of The Fittest Winner, and um, these are the contestants. My name is Blanche Mena. I am 29 years old. I come from New York City, born and raised. My parents are from the Dominican Republic, and I am one of the contestants for The Fittest Winner. Okay, so tell me, why did you apply to be on the show? So it's because I wanted to obviously get into shape and be in the best shape that I possibly could be. Mm -hmm. um, additionally from that, I wanted to get stronger mentally, spiritually, and physically. I do not want at the end of this challenge to have any of you sitting here being the same as you are today. We need to be elevated. Hi, Cherie, how are you? Hi guys, my name is Cherie. I am 34 and I am from Chicago and I am a Fittest Winner contestant. Uh, I want to be on the Fittest Winner because I am not where I want to be in my life. I want to get rid of this. Okay. <laughs> so it's got to be a little bit smaller. Come on now. I'm asking for eight weeks of your time, eight weeks of your dedication, eight weeks of your support. And let's make a change. Let's do it right now. So why do you want to be on the Fittest Winner? Mostly because I think I want to take my health and my body um, into my own ownership. Fitness is a lifestyle. No matter what happens in your life, yeah. you get a new job, you have kids, you get married. Yeah. Fitness has to be number one. Uh, my name is Judy Gamboa. I'm 26 years old. I want to be on The Fittest Winner because um, a few years ago I lost a lot of weight, but I put some back on and I really need somebody to help me just get back into it. I don't buy into the BS about, oh, you know, I'm happy just the way I am, not if you can't move. First off, my name is Brittany. I'm 26, I'm from California. Um, and I want to be the fittest winner because I want to motivate all those out there who've been struggling with obesity and being overweight. 
because in this eight weeks, I'm requiring 100% full commitment. Hi, my name is Mina. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Southern California. I'm a contestant on The Fittest Winner. For like for me at least, like I would be dedicated for like two weeks and every single day go to the gym. Something happens at work or with family, throws me off my schedule and then I kind of give up and fall back into old patterns again. These are gonna be your workout partners because I took it a step further. It's not only gonna be about the six of you, it's gonna be how we inspire the world. What you guys do is gonna inspire so many other people. Together, we can create a ripple effect of self-love and healthy living that will penetrate every small town, every big city, every country on the World Wide Web. That's what the fittest winner is. Because I care not only about what's happening right here, I care about anyone who is a fan of Tiffany Roth workouts and wants to be better. So look to these people as your workout partners. Look to me. They're going to look to you for your support. And this is going to be a team effort of all of us stepping in to our greatness. We are meant to be great. Our destiny is to be great. And we are about to grab it right now. When it's Susie's birthday, and it's a Wednesday, you're going to have to say the no to Susie's birthday cake. I love you, Susie, but no. When you're at work and everyone's passing around the donut box, your favorite donut, you're gonna have to say no. I am the first advocate that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. I believe in that. And I'm not saying that fitness has one model. I believe in that. But what I do tell you is that you need to be able to be free. You need to be able to move and express your body. You need to be able to be comfortable in your own skin. And this whole motivation is I saw a group of people, too many people, that were unhappy. And I want to do something about it. This is how it's going to work. Every week, you guys are going to have workouts Monday through Friday. If you want to go all in, like us, all in every day with the food, with the workout, then you join the club. Join the club. So we're in the club. We're working out. We're starting tomorrow, and every week we're going to have a challenge. So you're going to have to look for the Roth Star Recap and the Roth Star Challenge. This is our first week, and I'm excited, so I'm going to start you guys off slowly, okay? And the first thing that we're going to focus on is hydration. So many of you out there are not hydrating your bodies. And it's like this. If you have a top-of-the-line Mercedes-Benz and you're driving it, but you never put any oil in it, you never put any gas in it, you never change the transmission fluid, pretty soon you'll be the proud owner of a bucket, okay? So it's the same thing with your body. If you want it to run at maximum speed and be healthy, you have to give it the fluid that it needs. That fluid is H2O. That's right, pure and simple water. I want you to remember this challenge that you are only drinking water for the entire week. This is what I want you to do. Go to my Instagram page at Tiffany Roth Workouts, and every single time that you drink a glass of water, I want you to take a picture of it and put hashtag fittest winner at Tiffany Roth Workouts. Once you do that, I will see it and I'll know that you're on your game. I will select one of the contestants from the virtual team and one contestant from the reality team to win a special prize. This is gonna be so fun. Woo! Are we excited? Okay, we're gonna begin it with a strength test. So all of you virtual contestants out there, we're gonna start like this. And my girls are gonna start like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one particular move at a time, and we're gonna do as many reps as we can do. And I want you guys to write down in the comment section how many you did. So we're gonna see how many we can do at the beginning of the challenge, and how many we can do at the end of the challenge. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna start with rocket squats and come down. Good. Sit into your rockets, bend the knees, put your elbows right above the knees, put your fists right underneath your chin. You guys ready? Ready, rock and roll? We're gonna jump up, throw your arms down towards the floor, come in and breathe out. Do as many as you can. Abs in, up, two, 
And then we're gonna do frog squats. Go down. When you jump out, you're gonna touch the floor. Come on. And together. I want you to look up when you do it. One, two, three. The most important thing here is that you breathe. We're gonna wait for Brittany. Come on, Brittany. Let's go. One, don't look good. Two, look like fear. Three, four. Okay, so now we're gonna bring one foot forward. Good. And take the back leg, stretch it behind you. Good, make sure that your ankle is right below your knee. Then bring your chest up a little bit. So you're still gonna be leaning forward. You have a lot of pressure on this front leg and then balance it out with the back leg. Relax your shoulders, pull your tummy in. Good, this is an isometric exercise. We're not gonna move, we're just gonna hold it here. Relax your shoulders, tummy tight. One, two, three. All right, so walk your hands out. Bring your body forward at a diagonal angle. Hands are wide, okay? You're gonna hit your chest right in the middle of like where your thumbs are. You guys ready? I know, ladies, the push-up thing, we gotta just break through it, okay? You can do it. Inhale down. Exhale up. That's one. Two. So I want your fingertips facing your toes. Bend your knees. First up, you just have to squeeze your triceps. Just squeeze the back of your arm. I'm gonna turn the side right here. All I want is a nice tight tricep right here. Just squeeze your arm, see that, squeeze it. And then you're gonna open your chest up, bend it, and straighten. Bend and straighten. All right, so we're gonna sit back right here. Lean back, flex your feet, chest up, and hold your arms forward. Good, and then reach up. Just hold it like this and bring the arms back further, stretch up. Good, now just look forward. That's it, so your head is elevated. We're working on the abs, believe it or not. Good, now I want you to just walk your feet forward just a little bit. That's it. Good, you guys feel it? So, thanks for watching. Remember the motto, we are better together. I'll be looking for all of your comments and support of the team on YouTube and all my other social media channels. I will see you all next time.